Hey, hey, you wanna see what we're gonna do today? These two quick, frugal, easy meals you're gonna love. Very simple to make and delicious. If you haven't watched my other frugal, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. You can see it maybe around here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Gabby Santana. You're here in Mexican Cooking with Gabby. Okay, let me show you the ingredients that we have. We have masa harina two times. You're gonna see the process, okay? So we need masa harina. We need ham. You can use this recipe. It's gonna be perfect for leftover uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas if you use your ham. You can use that. I have a little bit of mozzarella cheese, egg, chicken bouillon, onion powder, cream cheese, and my mashed potatoes. This could be fresh, like here I did. There were one medium potato and four small potatoes. Or you can use the bag, the powder, whatever you wanna do, but we need mashed potatoes, so. Let's just start with this. This is gonna be a very quick and easy recipe, you'll see. So the first thing, that I'm going to add, I'm adding my mashed potatoes, of course, and this could be a perfect leftover, right? Sometimes we do mashed potatoes as a side dish. Well, this will be our main dish, right? And this is cold, that's why it's like this, okay? I'm just kinda, I'm adding my cheese, my spices, now, my mashed potato already is seasoned with salt because I always do salt and pepper. But if yours doesn't, please add salt and pepper, okay? I'm adding my egg and my adding. And in the recipe, you're gonna see exactly the quantity you'd like. So don't worry about that. And I'm just going to mix it up. dough a little dry you can add a little bit of milk a little bit of water just to come together that's all okay guys this is what we're looking for like kind of be able to create like a little dough um, and okay just kind of press it Okay, so basically this is done. Okay, where I have my potatoes, my mashed potatoes, I'm going to add my diced ham. And you can use this with any leftover that you have to. Like you don't have to, this is the way I did it just because that's what I have. Yes, it doesn't matter because it's coming inside, you'll see how. Let me see, whatever is best for you. I think I'm just gonna, I just wanna mix up the cream cheese and the ham together. Maybe with a spoon, you can do this too. I'm just, right now I'm in the season of, just use your hands, that will be just fun, okay. Any leftover that you have, you know, if you have a little bit of uh, cheese, not cheese, um, uh, chicken, you know, whatever. Okay, this is ready too, so let's just start making okay, it. So my other part of masa harina, I'm just going to add it to a little bigger bowl. We're gonna come and grab a ball, okay. Okay, I just need a ball. And, okay, if this happens to you, this just need a little water. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let me add just a little water, or meal. It needs a little moisture only, so it doesn't break that easy. I just add around a tablespoon of water. Like, you don't wanna add that much. Or a teaspoon even. I don't think it's one a teaspoon. 
Okay, let's see if this is a little better. I mean, you can get from this maybe eight to 10, okay? I'm here just creating a ball, okay? Okay, it's better, it's gonna be a little fun. Okay, I'm just going to, and in the center, I'm going to grab some of my ham and my cream cheese, and I'm gonna put it on the middle, and I'm just kind of like, Okay, there we go. We make the ball again. Okay, right? So, okay, like that. If it's open, just kind of try to close it, okay? Once this is like that, I'm gonna come to my masa harina and I'm going to cover it. This is gonna make it like crispy, you're gonna see. So, you know, remove the excess, but you want some. So, and then I already have a pan with some oil that we're gonna to put there, this thing. So, let's continue. These are ready, and these are ready. I already have my pan very hot, so I got seven. But honestly, they're very chunky and big. You can make less. I mean, you can make more using less, okay? Let's start the next thing. this is done I have here so I can put this and all the excess of the oil we look at that that we are looking for and all those little black things that you see is a ham that came a little out so let me continue cooking the rest guys first recipe done Let's go to the second recipe, and this, I'm gonna use masa harina, of course. You're gonna love me. You're going to learn so many recipes with masa harina, because I don't know about you, but sometimes you, you buy the masa harina and then you just have it there because you have no more recipes, so hey, you're welcome. Okay, this, for this second recipe, is basically what I had on my freezer and my fridge and my pantry that I needed to use, um, but you, like I said, like that before, use whatever you have. It's gonna be kind of, not the same, but maybe similar. So let me show you. Okay, so I have my masarina. I have a little bit, tiny bit of cheese. Totally optional. Every time I do hamburgers, I cook uh, onion, salt, pepper, and some pineapple. So I have to use it, so I'm gonna use it. And then I have these potatoes. And this is the size that I used five of this to create the other recipe that you just see. So, and then this is the meat that I found on my freezer. So I have two pieces of meat and that little tiny bit here that is already diced. So that's all I have. So basically three pieces, but I have a family of six. So I'm going to dice it very fine, going to combine. So I'm going to make a dish to fill my tortillas the way I'm gonna show you. Let me uh, wash my hands. I put my 
pan a little oil and I'm going to add my potatoes to cook just a little bit and then I'm going to dice my meat. I'm going to season it, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, powder, you know, things like that. meat is cooking I have maseca here masarina I mean I'm going to add like a teaspoon of salt or so I have two cups of maseca masarina here okay and I'm just going to add my water I have two cups here so um, and remember you're never gonna use the same quantity of water just because one, it will affect if it's summer or winter, and it will affect where you live. If you're lower in altitude or higher, okay? Higher, you need more, and lower, you need less. My dough is ready, so if you don't have one of this to make to press tortillas, no worries. I'm gonna show you how you can make it with a plate. So I have a bag right here. I'm going to get a ball. Okay. I'm gonna put another one in here and just press it very, very hard. Okay, and then um, if you're stronger, go ahead and do it. Or if you have a rolling pin for tortillas, use that one too. But I really like this one because you really press them very, very good. So just let me move a little more in the center. Like this. So you see? That's why. So. I have this one here. Look at this beauty. Isn't that delicious? I'm going to put here some in the center. Look at this. Woo! See, it looks so good. Of course it does. Now, you can add a little bit of cheese if you want to. You don't have to. Now, I'm gonna move this to the side and we're going to make another tortilla. Okay, I forgot a bag, so I have to go and get one. And the size is like a lemon. Well, no, a lime for you guys. And I always make sure that the top part goes there, so. Okay, okay. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna grab this. I'm hoping you're looking because I cannot see. And I'm going to put this ah, on top, just like that. And we're going to close. And I already have my pan with a little bit of oil just to kind of cook the masa harina. Kind of press so it stays there. I'm gonna get it out and I'm gonna put it on my pan. Hey guys, stay tuned because I'm gonna share with you a video that I think is gonna be very helpful. The seasons are coming, all the holidays that we love, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas are coming, right? 
and a lot of us maybe we think we're not good at baking or maybe the recipe that our grandma uncle friend shared with us that we love it does we can make it right I'm gonna show you why and how you can adjust your recipes and how the altitude where you live affects a lot. So you're gonna love this video that is coming soon. Are you interested in videos like that? Let me know in the comments. Look at this, guys. Ooh. -hoo. Look at this. It smells so beauty. I wanna show you this. I want you to see it. Look at this. Oh yeah. Look at this. Oh yeah. What do you think guys? I hope you enjoy it. And let me tell you, I'm trying them and see if they could be a freezer meal. I'll let you know in the next uh, videos. I am, I am going to try it out. I'll let you know. But I already show you this, but look at this. That is so good, guys. Oh my god. Mmm. Mm. The flavor. The flavor. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. You're gonna love this one. And with the recipe, you can make seven, eight. Depends on the side, the size. I mean, mines are very thick. Right? I like it to be honest. I really do like it. Mm -hmm. Quick meal. Um quick, easy, very frugal. And these babies, look at this. We like to eat it like everything else, the sopes, empanadas, we put lettuce and sour cream and salsa and lime and woo woo woo. Okay, and I'm trying them out to see if they freeze well. I'm gonna let you know too, um, but let me show you one. Okay, I want you to see it. Let me. Oh, ooh, look at that. Ooh, can you see? I don't know if you can see all the hot air. Look at this baby. Of course it's gonna be delicious. Mm. Mm. Woo! This is really good. Mm -mm -mm. And I was able to make three, six, seven with two cups of mazarina and I still have two cups of filling so I can make at least four more so you can make with three cups of mazarina so you can get and I'll let you know so stay tuned because I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know um if this can freeze well or not so stay tuned thank you so much for watching my video remember that recipe is gonna be on the description below Stay tuned for more delicious recipes. See you next time. Bye.